Hi guys, Ranger Stu here and welcome to Ranger Stu's Virtual Zoo. Now it's week 10 of Ranger Stu's Virtual Zoo and we are learning all about sea creatures. Unfortunately, I do not have any sea creatures here at the zoo. Our closest thing to a sea animal is probably the fish behind me in our fish tank. Uh, these are tropical fish, and tropical fish are found in freshwater lakes and rivers. Whereas sea animals obviously live in the sea, they live in oceans. So, let's find out a bit more about them. Most of the earth is water, and the ocean takes up 70% of the earth's surface. This means that there is a massive amount of life in the ocean and many areas of the ocean haven't even been explored yet. From tiny microscopic creatures such as the animals that make up coral reefs all the way up to the giant 30 meter long blue whale. And blue whales are the largest animal that has ever lived. They were nearly hunted to extinction many years ago so we're really fortunate that they are still alive today. And don't forget, whales are not fish, but mammals like us. And we find many mammals in the ocean, including dolphins, whales, seals, and even polar bears are classed as marine mammals. You will also find ocean birds, such as penguins and albatross. You find reptiles such as sea snakes, turtles, and even marine iguanas. And you also find hundreds of thousands of species of mini bees, from flatworms to the colossal squid. And this creature here is a deep sea anemone. Pretty cool, hey? But the most common animal group we think of when we think of oceans, however, are the fish. From sharks to blobfish, we are fascinated with fish. Some fish live in the deep ocean without any form of light. Some fish live in coral reefs, hiding amongst the corals and anemones. And some fish live underneath the Arctic ice. Some fish, such as this basking shark, even visits the UK. And if you're in Cornwall during the summer, you might even be able to spot one from the cliff edges. How cool is that? So now that we've learned about the oceans and the animals that live within those oceans, I thought it might be a fun idea to show you guys five animals that live in our seas right now that are really strange or unusual. Here we go. First up are these crazy looking animals called nudie branches. And nudie branches are a group of mollusks which have these amazing colors and shapes. They are carnivores that can steal the stinging cells of the jellyfish that they eat and use them in their own bodies as a defense against predators. How cool is that? Next up are goblin sharks. And goblin sharks are crazy looking sharks that live in the deep oceans around the world. They have jaws that extend out towards the end of their snouts to catch their prey. And they certainly look rather goblin-like. Yes, the sunfish does look like a giant fish head, but these massive fish grow up to around 13 feet long and weigh up to 2,300 kilograms. But from this photo, you can see there has a skeleton within this large body, so it isn't just a head with fins. The sunfish also lay the most eggs of any fish, up to 300 million eggs. Crazy stuff. Number four is the Dumbo octopus, named because of the large fins, which look like Dumbo, the elephant's ears. They are found all over the world and live in the cold, deep ocean. Here's one from a different angle, a bit squished. The fins do not push them along, but actually help them to steer them in the water and along the seabed. For our last unusual sea creature, we have the strange giant isopod. Yes, it looks like an alien, but they are related to wood lice, and most isopods are about five centimeters long. But the giant isopod can grow to 50 centimeters long. That's half a meter, guys. 
They are scavengers that live in the deep ocean and feed on any dead animals, including whales. And they also sometimes latch onto live prey. And one was found holding onto the face of a shark, eating it alive. Scary stuff. So I hope you enjoyed learning all about the sea creatures and the oceans on this earth. Next week we have prehistoric creatures, which we are going to be meeting things like millipedes and perhaps the giant relatives that lived millions of years ago. We're going to be meeting early mammals and maybe a mammal that lives at the zoo that could be closely related to a mammal that lived millions of years ago. And we are going to be meeting some other creatures too. So. You'll have to wait and see what that is by tuning in next week for week 11 of Rangers Choose Virtual Zoo. But in the meantime, take care, stay safe, and see you soon.